Electra Cassidy was a fashion designer and her real heyday, or when she became most famous, was in the 80s. She was a model and um, modeling just really wasn't for her, so then she went into retail. She wanted to make cocktail dresses for women that just were going out after work and just to have fun and that's sort of how it started. And really what brought her to the forefront is her designs for prom dresses. Her desire was to bring back that drama, that excitement, that getting ready for a night or a date out. These clothes are so rich and they're so beautiful and Cassidy shared this desire for women to put on the dress and just feel beautiful and be excited about dressing up. By the late 80s, her company, To Die For, was a $30 million company. And it's with that success that she started the Cassidy line, which really is everything that um, Electra is. It embraces the glamour of life. She was a great older sister, and we worked together side by side every day, so we were pretty close. <laughs> Just got to really see what a visionary she was and how talented she was. She passed away in 2008 from brain cancer. She was 54 years old and still had so much of her life and career left and I just felt like just because she wasn't here didn't mean she couldn't still be inspiring people and affecting other people. So I started looking for the right place for it to land. Andrea came into our costume shop just to see what we do and um, was really kind of taken with our process and how we create costumes. And um, when it was over, she pulled me aside and said, Wendy, these ideas are so exciting and these materials are not. And so she said, I think I have some solutions for you. I want you to come visit my warehouse of fabrics and trims and bring your students and let's just see if we can find some things that might work better. It was stunning. Uh, I'd never seen fabrics like this all in one location. My students were like kids in a candy store. And we just stood back and watched them. Andrea watched it as well. She was very taken with the experience and told us that the experience of watching the students create brought her sister's life back and through additional conversations, Andrea decided that SUU would be the home for all of the collection of Electric Cassidy. Her materials, her fabrics, her equipment, her actual dresses, and her patterns as well. And thus started the whole relationship, the whole donation, and now we have pieces that affect our shows, the quality of our productions, the students learning, the development of their skills, and the access to things we could have never imagined. Through Electra's generous donation of these incredible dresses, we've been enabled through the Department of Theater and Dance to take inspiration of that for a lot of our productions. We had just such big ideas that we couldn't have done without this donation. The work that we were able to create was tenfold. It was just so much better. As costumers, we don't just design in the present. Having the donation is really unique because we're able to use it in the different time periods that we design for in theater. I've gotten to speak with Andrea personally of what was your sister's desire in creating this outfit? What did she want to invoke in women when they put on these clothes? And through that first-hand account, we're directly connected to this incredible lineage that Electra offers. Just to see what other creative minds do with the fabric that we had uh, for other purposes has been really great. And I've watched these students grow in their creativity uh, since they got the fabric and the trims. They just blossom. I never anticipated it would turn into this, but I feel like it's a great tribute to her talent and her vision. One thing that's so unique about this collection is that it is for everyone. It is not for one type of person. Being part of this fashion show was an amazing experience because I got to step out 
of what I normally do and participate in something that is on the polar opposite portion of the spectrum. I went from sciences to art and I got to meet a lot of new people and I think overall it made me a more well-rounded person. It's just been a lot of fun and very rewarding for me to be a part of it, to see how she still is affecting people and inspiring people. When I learned the meaning behind the donation, how it's going to help the students at SUU, it really influenced how I looked at it because not only was I doing something that at first I thought would just be for fun, but I was actually doing something more meaningful to help the campus community, to help have students like myself pursue dreams. It was a really big deal to me when I received the scholarship. I'm a young mother and I was able to kind of put um, some of the worries of expenses with going to college aside. Because of what Electra and Andrea gave to us, we're able to continue what Electra loved. Her vision supports our vision at SUU, and SUU's vision continues her vision. This legacy that's been established at SUU through Electra's donation has already filtered out into Cedar City, and we are so grateful for this. Electra came from a small town with big dreams and she was able to make them happen. And I just thought it was really appropriate that they land in a small town with big dreams so they could see that it's possible to make it happen. And uh, that, that's the best part for me.